The LGBTQ community has become this cult and it's so captivating and it pulls people in so strongly, unlike anything we've ever seen. I think they're just, I think they're evil. This is Haya Raychek, the founder of one of the right wing's main sources of outrage. Her page, known as the Libs of TikTok, is responsible for peddling some of the most hateful attacks against the LGBTQ plus community. These are some of the views she expressed in her interview with Tucker Carlson. I think sometimes the simplest answer is like, they're just evil. They're bad people. They're just evil people. And they want to, and they want to groom kids. They brainwash um, people to join and they convince them of all of these things. Um, and it's really, really hard to get out of it. It's really difficult. And, and there are studies on this. Like there have been, there's been a lot of reporting on this about people, uh, parents who are like, you know, my child is, is starting to say, you know, that they're non-binary or transgender or whatever. And how, what do I do? How do I, how do I stop this? And it's really, really difficult. It, it's, it's unlike anything we've ever seen, I think. Um, it's extremely poisonous. How did you wind up doing this? You, I s assume you went to Columbia Journalism School to become a journalist? <laughs> I went to Harvard and Yale. Um, <laughs> um, thank God I didn't, though, um, because those are now, obviously, those institutions are all poisoned. Raychek is a major figure in right-wing circles. So big, in fact, that her page is helping Republican leaders form major policy decisions, like Ron DeSantis's Don't Say Gay Bill. I feel like I, over the past few months, um, I've done so much. I've helped educate people. Um, I know that I, I have helped create legislation um, yes. to tackle some of these issues. DeSantis's team told me that the content that I found helped with the parental rights and education bill. It helped inspire that. Um, and I heard from other legislators um, stuff along those lines as well. So I know that it was really having an effect. The new law states that classroom instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity may not occur in kindergarten through third grade or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students in accordance with state standards. With that said, the legislation does not make clear what is, quote, age appropriate or developmentally appropriate because state standards for sexual orientation and gender identity are almost non-existent for many grades. Previously, Raychek referred to schools as government-run indoctrination camps and helped perpetuate violent threats against children's hospitals around the country for providing care to transgender youth. Lips of TikTok is also responsible for helping perpetuate the right-wing lie that there are litter boxes in schools. There is something going on in our schools, according to this, something called furry. And I think it's spelled F-U-R-R-Y. I looked it up on Google here. There's a school in Texas that someone identified, you ready for this, for a cat, and they made them put out a litter box. I thought it was something from the onion. They meow and they bark and they interact with their school, with the teachers in that in this fashion. Dressed up as cats with collars and leashes on and ears and supposed to have litter boxes in the restrooms. That's incredible, and you've, you've seen this? I have not personally seen it, but uh, I know people that are involved with uh, the schools. So you haven't personally no, seen it? I haven't it. personally seen it, no. Okay, because that sounds, that's. Uh, yeah, I know, but if you talk to the students they even say that it's been going on and uh, have you you've talked to the students and they they said they saw it some friends of ours their kids yeah 